Typically, this strategy here is what we apply throughout drug design. We need some sort of small molecule that will go into the body, bind against these proteins, the targets that we have identified, and change how they work. So to change how they work, we're going to need to understand a whole lot of biology, which is far beyond uh, the class today, so I'm not going to speak so much about it. But the whole idea is that we have some small drug, and then we have a target, When that target actually binds the drug, the idea is that first they bind, and then this leads to a biological response. And that biological response can be many things. This could, for instance, be a process where my blood pressure is too high because certain proteins in my body the AC21 in particular, they're not working quite as I would have hoped they would make. Maybe I can bind something here that inhibits that process so that it doesn't increase my blood pressure so much. Then the biological response would be lower blood pressure. And there are a ton of really well-functioning blood pressure drugs. Or in the case of COVID, this could be that I want to bind something to the protein that is responsible for making COVID either recognize cells or cutting up the parts in the virus itself. If that works and it binds that, I destroy that process and then the biological response is that the COVID virus will no longer be able to either infect my cell or at least not produce new more viruses. We talked a little bit about that binding process before. Do you remember that? Uh, I mentioned that there was kind of a lock and key model or an induced fit or a selected fit. I will come back to those slightly later so I won't write them down right now but keep them in mind.